Here we're asked to solve a linear system using matrices and Gaussian elimination. Let's begin by finding the corresponding augmented coefficient matrix. Now the goal is to find an equivalent matrix in upper triangular form. So we'll use the elementary row operations to try to replace this four with a zero. We can do that here by multiplying the first row by negative four. Doing that we'll be left with negative four, 12, negative eight, and negative 64. And we'll write the second row right underneath that. Now adding these two rows together, we'll get zero, one, negative nine, and five. We'll use this to replace the second row. Next, we need to replace the first element here of the third row with a zero. To do that, we'll multiply the first row by negative two. And that'll leave us with negative two, six, negative four, and negative 32. Now we'll write the third row right underneath that, and then add them together. That'll give us zero, one, negative eight, and four. Now we'll use this to replace the third row. Now finally, we need to replace the second element of the third row here with a zero. And to do that, we can multiply the second row here by negative one. Doing that, we get zero, negative one, nine, and a negative five. Rewriting the third row right underneath that, we can then add these together. That leaves us with zero, zero, one, and negative one. Now we'll use this to replace the third row again. And this leaves us with an equivalent matrix in upper triangular form. Now let's convert that back to a linear system and then solve by back substitution. And in this case, we know right away that z equals negative one. Now we'll use that in the second equation to determine y. And so here we'll substitute z equals negative one, and then solve. So we have y plus nine equals five, y equals then negative four. And we'll use this and the fact that z equals negative one in the first equation to determine x. And so here we'll substitute negative four here in for y, and negative one in for z. Solving, x plus 12 minus two then equals 16, or x plus 10 equals 16, x equals six. Now once we have the values for x, y, and z, all that's left to do is to present our answer as an ordered triple. And we have six comma negative four comma negative one. That's our solution.